online master's degree and graduate certificates for working professionals offered by Tulane University School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine. The online master's degrees and graduate certificates offered by the School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine include an MPH in Occupational and Environmental Health, Occupational Health and Safety Management, and Disaster Management. We offer an MSPH, that is a Master's of Science in Public Health in Industrial Hygiene. We also offer online two graduate certificates, one in Disaster Management and the second in industrial hygiene. By the way, both the Masters of Science in Public Health in Industrial Hygiene, as well as the Graduate Certificate in Industrial Hygiene are ABET accredited. Can't stop working to get career advancing education? You can earn your degree while earning a living. Tulane Online Learning Program is specifically customized for the working professional. While we have live classes in the evening, this facilitates professional contacts, collaboration with other like-minded professionals. And by live classes, I am talking about online live classes. It'll allow you to develop a relationship with both the faculty and the students, both of which become a resource. Remember that everybody in the program has similar career goals and are at various educational levels and career levels. But the classes are also recorded, so if you need to miss a class, you won't have to miss the lectures or the presentation. These recordings allow you to have an excellent source to review material later on should you want to sit for professional certification. It's also a persistent resource for the future, so at some point down the line, should you need to review something or get additional information, this material will continue to be accessible to you. Experienced faculty distill the most important information for you so you don't end up wading through mounds of useless information for what you need to learn. They also help you develop a reasoned approach to complex problems. So in your specific industry, whether it be industrial hygiene, disaster management, or environmental health and or safety, the courses with the instructors will help you develop a reasoned approach to analyze and address issues in your work environment. These classes and the faculty help you develop professional communication skills. It's one thing to know the information. It's another to be able to professionally communicate it both upwards and downwards to the working environment. Concerned about online education? Tulane is not a Johnny come lately to the online world. We've been teaching online or distance education for around 20 years. Yes, we do remember teletraining when it was done over TV monitors and the modem years. Tulane School of Public Health has set the standard for accredited online education because we were one of the very first to be out there training online, and in our case, it happened to be industrial hygiene, we really were able to set the bar for what needed to be accomplished, and we've maintained that level of excellence. But in addition to our online program being one of the founders in this area, Tulane School of Public Health itself has been around for over 100 years. Why do you care about the history? Well, one, it's credibility. Because we've been around, you know that we've been time tested. We know what we're talking about. We know what our working professionals need and we're able to provide that information. So we're credible. It also provides networking opportunities because our students and faculty have been around for so long. You'll have a lot of other individuals who are in your area who have been in a program. Senior professional contacts, many of our professionals are senior in the fields of industrial hygiene, occupational health and safety, and disaster management. Why Tulane's graduate program? Well, Tulane is a top-ranked school of public health. Having been around so long, we're an internationally recognized as a leader. We have great faculty not constrained by geography. We're academically strong and everyone knows about Tulane's reputation. 
your experienced classmates are a resource not to be underestimated. The classmates that are in the program are all in various levels in their profession. This allows a phenomenal opportunity to network and get to know others in your program and in your field. The working, this program is designed for working professionals, so it's convenient. We know what you need, we value your time, and we know what we need to deliver to you to make you successful, both in our program academically, but to be able to apply what you've learned to your career. But how does it work? What are the real mechanics? Well, we offer a synchronous format. As I've already alluded to, that means there's a live class. You enter into the virtual classroom with real people, other students, at real time, real life. So you're talking to real faculty and real students. You can have your cameras enabled, your mics enabled, you can text. So there's constant ability to interact. Our classes are held Monday through Thursday and they start at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. So by this we mean that if you have one class, if you're registered for one course, you'll meet one night a week that starts at 6.30 p.m. If it's a three credit class, it runs for about three hours. If it's a two credit class, it'll run for about two hours. When we say our program is convenient, we mean it's convenient. This is an individual who's actually in the program um, taking a class and his wife snapped this picture doesn't look like it's a good idea to me, but you get the point. The classes are synchronous. So even though it is live, what are you going to do if uh, you can't make it? You're on travel, you're deployed because you're working. You have lots of other things that you have to do. It's not a problem. The classes are video recorded and podcasts for your later access, and they get posted within an hour after the class is over. Why synchronous? Isn't asynchronous easier? I'm a very busy working professional with a family and want to pursue a degree. Isn't an asynchronous program more reasonable for my situation? Tulane offers the best of both worlds. Classes are live and the expectation is that a student will attend. However, they are all recorded and posted both as video and podcasts. But most importantly, you should be aware that asynchronous degree programs have a completion rate in the teens, that is about 13%, while the synchronous program has a completion rate of greater than 90%. Asynchronous programs, by the way, are these self-paced programs where you're provided information and you really have to work it through yourself. You're on your own, uh, you're pacing it by yourself, you may email back and forth to an instructor, but you're really in it on yourself. The unique benefits of distance learning at Tulane. The learning management system, often called LMS, gives you access to instructional material like handouts, exams, presentations, course specific blogs, and so much more. Many of you are familiar with Blackboard. We utilize Blackboard where we put all of the instructional materials there. So you do have handouts and presentations and the videos and the podcasts, all of that go there. Our virtual classroom provides the opportunity for breakout groups for special projects. So you go into the virtual classroom and if you're doing a project with another group, we'll simply form another virtual classroom and you and your group can go into another classroom. If your group decides you want to, you can enable your cameras, your microphones, you can talk, you can share your desktops. It is almost like being in a traditional brick and mortar classroom, except you're in the comfort of your own space. We do customize our program to how you learn. We emphasize interactivity and learner-centered approach. We have significant faculty, technology, and administrative support. For instance, one of the things that is unique to Tulane's online program is that our technologists work just for the online program. You won't have them answering a question for a general help desk for Tulane University and then flipping over to answer a help question for a distance learning student. Not at all. Our technologists are here for you. The virtual classroom that's done by Adobe Connect and the virtual uh, campus is Blackboard. That's the LMS that I was referring to. 
degrees and graduate certificate information. In this segment, I just want to briefly go over the MPH and MSPH, as well as the certificates, the requirements, time requirements, how do you get started, what does it take to get these degrees and graduate certificates. Online degrees and certificates, um, they're offered from the Department of Global Environmental Health Sciences. So you'll get your degrees and your certificates in the program that we mentioned, but you'll be part of GEHS, Global Environmental Health Science. The MPH programs are Occupational Environmental Health, Occupational Health and Safety Management, and Disaster Management. The MSPH in Industrial Hygiene and that's the ABET accredited program. The graduate certificate in disaster management and a graduate certificate in industrial hygiene, also ABET accredited. Program overview. The MPH and MSPH take about eight semesters to complete when taking two classes each semester. Now you can take more classes a semester and you can take fewer and you can even sit out a semester or so if you need to. But I'm often asked, how long will it take me to finish? So if you take two classes a semester, it'll take eight semesters. Tulane offers three semesters a year, summer, spring, and fall. The MPH is 42 credit hours and the MSPH is 45 credit hours. The graduate certificate in industrial hygiene is 12 credit hours, while that in disaster management is 21 credit hours. What are the core requirements for the degree? All the degrees have six core requirements. So regardless of which program you're in, you'll need to satisfy these core classes. Introductory Biostatistics, Epidemiological Methods 1, Survey of Environmental Health, Principles of Health Systems Administration and Management, Social and Behavioral Aspects of Global Health, and Biological Basis of Disease. Now, if you're in any accredited MPH or MSPH program, the core requirements are pretty much going to be the same regardless if you're at Tulane or in another program. And this is true whether you're online or in a traditional program. All accredited schools of public health have to meet some method of meeting all six of these requirements. Now, having said that, there may be uh, ways to waive some of these classes. For instance, if you're a physician or a nurse, you may be able to waive biological basis of disease or take a challenge exam. Likewise, with biostats or epi, if you have a background in these areas, you may be able to take a challenge exam or waive the course entirely. And one thing to know is that if you waive a class, that's not the same as getting the credits. So for instance, if you uh, waive biological basis of disease, which is a three credit hour class, that just means you can take another elective. You're still going to need 42 or 45 credit hours to graduate. Program specific requirements. So in addition to core requirements, each program has their own requirements. And listed here are the program specific requirements for each program. Right off the bat, you're going to see here that industrial hygiene seems to have a lot of program specific requirements. And that's because this is an ABET accredited program and we have crosswalked our program with ABET's requirements and this is what resulted. Now, if you take the core and the program specific courses, that totals 45 credit hours. So this means that there are no electives scheduled for the industrial hygiene program. You can still take some additional courses, but then that would take you above the 45 credit hours. The occupational environmental health, disaster management, and occupational health and safety management likewise have their program specific courses. And you can see that there are fewer required program specific courses. So in those degrees, you have room for a number of electives and they'll be between two to three electives depending on which program you're in. People can take their electives from any of the courses we offer. So for instance, the OEH, OHSM individuals have in the last several years been taking their electives primarily from disaster management because their employers have requested a background in disaster planning. 
Likewise, disaster management individuals have been asked by their employers to make sure they have enough project management background to uh, deal with their up, upper uh, brass in their companies. And so frequently the disaster management individuals are taking fundamentals of project management for environmental safety and health or applying systems thinking and so forth. The bottom line, the take home message here is regardless of what program you're in, you can take your electives from any of the classes we offer. This allows a very unique customization of your program that allows you to customize it both for your career goals as well as your personal interests. Graduate certificate requirements. You can see here are the six courses listed for the disaster management graduate certificate and there is one additional elective that you may take from any of the courses we offer. The industrial hygiene graduate certificate is a little bit different again because it's ABET accredited. This course, this certificate requires two classes that is principles of toxicology offered every fall and principles of industrial hygiene offered every spring semester. You take your remaining electives from these courses shown here. Professional certification. What I've done here is to distill a number of the certificates that the that are either our certificates or our degrees will satisfy the educational requirements. Now in most of these uh, certificates there is a work requirement as well, but in terms of educational requirements um, shown here, the MPH or the certificates or the MSPH can satisfy the American Board of Preventive Medicine, satisfy the requirements to sit for the CIH, satisfy the requirements to sit the educational, again, educational requirements to sit for the CSP or the BCSP. Now, our degrees um, and certificates are, satisfy the educational requirements for many, many other professional certifications. I've just not listed them all here. But if you're curious uh, about a specific certification you'd like to know, does this program satisfy that requirement, just email me and I'll be happy to provide that information. These are the top ones that I am most frequently asked about. We work together with you. If you have any questions about how to apply or be admitted, please contact Erica Geary at DL for distance learning info at Tulane.edu or myself, Elizabeth James. I'm the program director and if you'll just email me at DLdirect at Tulane.edu. Especially if you need information for advising, which program is best for you, um, you're concerned about your credentials and will you be, uh, how competitive you are for getting admitted, toss myself or Erica a line and we'll be happy to, to um, go over specifics with you. We look forward to having you in our program and working with you to satisfy your educational and career goals. Thank you.